Hey, yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy Hezzy back with another video. Now, look, check me out. You feel me? Now, look, y'all went crazy on the last video, the mic DPS spec. Y'all got all the likes I needed. So, look, basically, we back with another video and it's a precision one. All right, so basically, I'm gonna show y'all both how to spec precision. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'll go ahead and do the ones for the tank. Now, I'm not gonna lie, precision DPSs, we finna go crazy because right now. I'm gadgets and I'm gadgets precision. So that means we gonna have a loadout video coming soon. So hit the like button for that one too, you feel me? It's in the works, all right? So let's get into this. You know, we are gonna go over the artifacts. We are gonna go over the white sockets. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to basically four tick with precision. Just a little second, all right? I'm gonna just show you like the rotation of how I do it, but I may try to explain it my best way. So let's get into this video and I hope y'all boys enjoy. Let's get right. All right, so look, now in this clip right here, I got one buff troll in my uh, group, and basically I was able to achieve 93K might. Now I ain't gonna lie, if I had two buff trolls, maybe even three, if this was a DPS comp, I'd probably have two to three buff trolls, you know what I'm saying? If I could find them, and I could probably have 100K might at one point, and that would be insane, you feel me? Because at 93, I'm pretty sure you can get 100K tick as a, uh, as a flurry tick. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I want to see that happen. So basically, I'm going to see if I can get some trolls and I'm going to see if I can get that to actually happen because right now I'm gadgets, all right? So basically, what I want y'all both to do, we're going to help y'all get these white sockets out the way. Now, the white sockets really did not vary from that different from the my video. If you actually go into my my video, I actually explain it basically the same way as I'm going to do in this video. So if you already seen the my video, you know, so you can skip over this part or not, you know what I'm saying? You might want to pay attention because I might say something different. Who knows? All right, so for a precision DPS, for your weapon mod, you know, you're always going to be running. Well, actually, for any DPS, you know what I'm saying? If you precision, might hybrid, you always gonna be running that blast adapter because weapon attacks blast your target and five other en enemies nearby for additional damage every 20 seconds. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this is the W, you know what I'm saying? As a precision DPS, you can see even more white numbers, all right? It's like a little burst. It's beautiful. So just like in my, my video, we on to the next head mod. So the head mod varies to what power you are. Now, the power I am is gadgets right now, and in the description in my last video with the might, I will be putting in the link in the description, first link at the top. I will sh it shows you what mod you should use for your head mod with each power. Now, it may vary what you want to use, but since I'm gadgets right now, I use critical battle display. It grants me 2% critical strike chance when I use gadgets ba uh, battle display, and I always have battle display in my main loadout where I can pop it multiple times. So, you know what I'm saying? This is a huge W, you know what I'm saying? So you can hit harder with gadgets. Now, on to the next. All right, so on to the neck mod. So the neck mod, I use Relentless Precision. Now, in my uh, my video, I use Relentless Might, but this will make sense, you know what I'm saying? It increases your precision by 4% while you maintain a hit counter above nine. So basically, with precision, you always gonna have a hit counter above nine. Like, that's like your third or second rotation, you know what I'm saying? If you're brawling, that's like your second rotation. If you're dual well, it's like your third rotation. So. This is a W, you know what I'm saying? This one is self-explanatory. Of course, you will, if you're a precision DPS, you want to do relentless precision instead of relentless might, all right? All right, so now we're on to the back mod. Now, the back mod is really kind of hard. It's just it's almost like the, the headpiece because it varies with power you are and what, you, what is your play style. So basically, with gadgets, uh, I use accelerated suppressor turret. Now, I use suppressor turret because you can basically clip anything into suppressor turret. Basically, you can clip anything into suppressor turret, so that means I can get my clips easier and it can be fine. I can get my vortex easy. I can come out of my bra my brawling into the shuriken mastery. I can come out of it instantly just with the suppressor turret. So, of course, I'm going to use accelerated battle display. I mean, ex accelerated suppressor turret. Now, it may change if I am rage. Now, if I'm rage, of course, I'm going to go accelerated super i mean accelerated berserk so that means i can get more supercharges because berserk gets carried by the supercharge so it varies what power you are and it really what you want to do so with rage you could get uh accelerated uh precision the precision buff so you could uh harry can get your precision buff off a of cooldown faster but it's not going to reset the official cooldown because the cooldown could overlap itself and it could just be unlimited now on to your chest mod. You already know you need that penetrating strike. So it don't matter if you might or precision. That ignoring 2% defense and toughness, you need it because I don't really know why the hell you need it. It was just tested and I just know this one is better than using core strength when you get that extra 2% 2% damage. This one is actually better if you ignore that defense and toughness because I'm pretty sure because of the higher tiers, that's why we use it now. Because back, back then we used to use core strength. Now we use penetrating strikes. So I don't know. Maybe they just gave these bosses a lot of fucking defense and toughness. Who knows? On to the next one, though. All right, now look, let me get into this. You're probably gonna be surprised, but them leg mods, they don't matter. I think they're for support role, if I'm being honest. Now, we're gonna skip your leg mods, we're gonna go straight into your foot mod. Now, your foot mod, we're gonna go ahead and stick with 
dashing combos. Now, I use it because I'm a mighty DPS at heart. I like to use World and Dervish in my loadout because it does a lot of damage. Now, I ain't gonna lie, with precision, you do not need to use the dashing combos uh, foot mod because you don't, you won't be using, you'll be using it correctly. So, I just leave it in there because I'm a mighty DPS and I just, and I just always like to use it. Your foot mod and your leg mod don't really matter. It's really your preference of what you want to use. But if you're aware of my DPS, you'll be using dashing combos. Now, your leg mod, like I said, go ahead and throw something else in there. Whatever you might want. You know what I'm saying? Restorator, Restorator's taser pull is what I use for gadget because it just it just lines up with the DPS thing. But you rarely, you rarely have a DPS leg mod that's going to actually change your setup because it's really, it's really just healing. All right, now for the last but not least, you got your hand mods. Now for any power, you are always gonna be using max damage. But for gadgets and mental, you're gonna be using improved stuff. Just because in raids, you have uh, certain mechanics that give you damage over time or a damage field that you might be standing in, and you cannot actually go in stealth and stay in there. With improved stuff, it lets you take a uh, certain amount of damage while you're uh, going in. I think it makes you uh, damage immune, more should I say, while you're going there, you pop everything in there so you can get more damage. I mean, of course, if you're on the sparring targets, go ahead and use max damage with I me mean, if your gadgets are mental because nothing's really going to be hitting you. But if you're in a raid that something's going to hit you or you think something's going to hit you, use improved stealth so you don't get taken out because improved stealth is a big, it's a big damage increase on these, on these two powers. Let's get into these artifacts. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. With precision, you don't need, you don't really need any artifacts, all right? Now, other than like the Mike DPS, you had like five to six artifacts you would use. With precision, I'm going here to let you know you barely need any. So basically, you're gonna need transformation card. That's a must. You're gonna need strategist card. That's a must. And you're gonna need Grimorium. Now, the only other artifact you will throw on is the Eye of Gemini. Now, I ain't gonna lie. In my Mike video, I went over these artifacts a little more in depth, but this is just the four artifacts you will run. Now, I will run these artifacts where I'm on single target, just hitting one boss only. But if I was on the AoE, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm about to pop a supercharge. I would just artifact switch, throw on my Eye of Gemini that replaces my Grimorium. That's why I have it all the way at the bottom, just so it can be an easy replace, all right? So I can just be DPSing, right? And as soon as I'm about to pop a supercharge, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over, go ahead and grab the Eye of Gemini, Pop my supercharge just so I can get that 5% critical increased precision while I'm standing inside of it. Just so I could go even more crazy. That's how I was able to reach 93k uh, precision. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in the eye Gemini, it really helps you. So basically, you only really need four artifacts. I would throw ahead and go ahead and throw a fifth one in there, which is a scrap of the soul cloak. Where uh with electricity, you could use it, you know what I'm saying? Cause with electricity, you can use it because you just building your supercharge, but with any power you can use it because when you go and build your supercharge on spawn targets, the Scrapper Soul Cloak definitely helps, you know? You really don't need uh, any other DPS artifacts. If you're looking for pure damage, you're not worried about any utilities or any artifacts that do otherwise besides damage, you just need the Transformation card, the Strategist card, the Grimorium, and the ELG. That's all you need. 